Welcome again to BAM's Global Scene, a series where we give you a secret look at the music scenes making waves in cities around the world. Currently, we've got our sights trained on London. In our fourth episode, we're taking a look at the place itself and how big an impact the people and their cultures have on London's own music scene. Now, it's no secret that London is one of the world's most cosmopolitan places, boasting more nationalities than any other European city. But what does that mean for London's musical culture and what kind of impact does it have on creativity? I think there's new things which have happened in London recently for, I guess, in terms of culture, is that you have a lot more cultures in London now than, say, in the 80s. Say, for instance, if you're walking in Peckham or if you're walking in Dalston, there's a big African community which is there. There's a big Turkish community in Dalston. If you go to other parts you know, of West London, there's a big, you know, Asian community. You know, you get North Indian, South Indian, Pakistani music. It has such a mixture of uh, international uh, cultures, ideas and sounds from all the world. And that brings so many different sounds up. That's why I moved to London. Mm -hmm. It is such a melting pot and it's great for that. And that's why music happens out of it as well. Like, it's, it's on a bar with, like, New York in that way. New York, yeah. I'm sure, has lots of different genres floating around. Genuinely, London is a place where you can go out to, to go out to a bar, any bar, and you can turn around to your left, you can have someone from East Africa and turn to your right and have someone from Rome or something like that. That, that much difference. And there's not a lot of places I think you could say that. And I, and I, and I feel like that's something I want to brag about, you know. Because if I think about it, I've got, in my neighbourhood where I'm living at the moment, I've got Cotty around the corner. Very reggae influenced. Cotty, something new, big up, big up. Very reggae influenced uh, dubstep. You know, the most reggae influenced dubstep you'll see on the scene at the moment, do you know what I'm saying? The fact that I'm Irish, even though I'm, I'm here playing kind of indie and I'm playing with, with three um, English guys and it's kind of British indie, yeah. you know, it can't, it can't help but that my kind of Irishness is coming into the music, you know, yeah, and I, a lot of arts. And our, all our songs, I mean, the whole idea is that there's a kind of a continuing story through it. And it's really yeah. about someone, mm -hmm. people moving from small towns to big cities. And it's about immigration and stuff like that, which is just kind of what I know about, because that's my experience. You can reference so many different venues around London where different people have set up different things. Like say in Dawson, there's a new venue called Open the Gate and it's set up by Italian guys, but it's set up as a black culture cafe. But the Italian guys are doing it. So you look at that and then you're thinking, wait a minute, you know, so it just shows that everybody embraces different bits of the culture that they kind of, I guess, resonate with. The music in London is so varied because of this need for individuality, for this need for individuals and promoters to kind of, to kind of carve their stamp on the metropolis. If you're individually different and you can ooze your personality into your work and make it, and make it gel, you will be different, you will stand out. A standout artist will stand out. A man that's copying what another man's doing, even if he can do it better, it's just a man copying what another man's done. In London, you can try things out. You can create hybrids. You know, you can be, you know what, I'm gonna make this music, which is a bit of that and a bit of this and a bit of that. And people aren't gonna say, you know, what are you doing? And then you get to interact with all of these musicians, you know, and, and you get to interact with musicians that are from these cultures, which are playing Western instruments, so they approach it differently. And then that becomes something which you branch off, you know, and you take inspiration from. I mean, it makes these very interesting, like, I say mongrel bands, which doesn't mm. sound very nice. But, uh, you know, that's it. And maybe it's not a bad thing that the days of, you know, oh, we all met when we were 12 and went to yeah. school together is gone. In fact, you're meeting meeting different people and playing music with people that you didn't grow up with, so different influences are coming in, you know. It's mine, that's the kiss of the coming of ice That the anger is turning to rage That's the raising of voice to the stage Get out Get up to nice and messing with my brain He's got forever to put everything I throw it inside Turn off the system so the kids down here Let's make it loud and clear All right. 
people aren't necessarily defined by their culture, but everybody's culture has a place within it. Mm. And within, I guess, the youth, I would say more than the older generation, there's a lot more intermingling and intertwining, which probably wasn't around in the times before because of, you know, all of the different things which went on in the past, like the race riots, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I think in today's age, we have the best of all of these cultures and have uh, a society which enables all of these things to mix together. And if you're in London right now, take the opportunity to go out and meet some like-minded people. From Dalston to Brixton, there's literally hundreds of music venues where it's not just about the gigs, but also the people who attend. You won't be disappointed. In the meantime, make sure you check out the other episodes over at BAM TV.